Heather, but as childhood obesity levels rise, parents may have to do more. Up next, a new approach you can take to help your child lose weight, and they may not even know what's happening. Childhood obesity is at epidemic levels. 20% of kids up to age 19 are dangerously overweight. That, those are some big numbers now, mm -hmm. but Dr. Joe says before you consider putting your child on a diet, there are some do's and don'ts. Childhood obesity can cause physical effects like diabetes, as well as psychological scars and isolation. Children that are overweight and struggling with their weight have more anxiety and depression. Psychologist Thomas Quinlan says singling them out at home can make things worse. Some families will have one meal for the rest of the family and a separate meal from, for this child, which really is damaging on a lot of levels. Instead, start serving the entire family healthy meals. You can just change the food and you don't have to have this huge discussion. Do you want to spread? Quinlan works with registered dietitian Sarah Krieger. Together, they tackle mental and nutritional aspects of obesity. The short lifestyle steps is what it takes. For instance, learn to prepare healthy food. If they learn how to make this now and then they leave the house after you know high school, whatever, um, then they own those life skills. Measuring success shouldn't include the bathroom scale. And I really don't even encourage um, measuring tapes, but just going how your clothes are fitting. Don't talk about weight loss diets, not even for yourself. If, if you have a poor negative body image, keep that inside and don't verbalize it to, to the children because they're watching, right? And then that can have the child look at him or herself and, and start to, to question how they look as well. Krieger suggests adapting meals your family loves instead of creating an unfamiliar menu. I'm not going to tell you to make lasagna if you hate Italian food, right? But making the changes stick isn't always easy. People crash and burn because life happens. Quinlan offers hypnotherapy to help teens address the root cause of their eating habits. On the subconscious level, they don't even realize that they're doing it. It's almost a natural behavior. A team approach that requires working together as a team at home. Once you do that, then everything kind of falls in line for the child. Now there are a few more tips as your tween or teen ventures out with friends. It may be a good idea to direct them to activities that aren't centered around food. Use non-food rewards for your children. That could be anything from a manicure to going to a movie or a game. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Consultations with a registered dietitian are often covered by insurance. That is good to know, but man, th our culture is just immersed in this, so it's just really hard, I think, yeah, for parents. Yeah, there's no one answer. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Dr. Thanks. Joe.